time to get the party started. Mm. I love this one though. It's my favorite. Pickles and olives? Today we're gonna try and have you make some mocktails. Mm. Mocktails? I thought it was cocktails. What are mocktails? I feel like that's a Japanese type of tempura looking thing, am I right? These are mocktails because you are underage, sir. So they do not have alcohol in them. Oh. So you get to experience what it's kind of like being an adult and going to a bar and ordering up a bunch of drinks. Yay. <laughs> yeah, I can pretend I'm older now. Mm. I like the way this looks. Ah, it's cold. Ah. So that is a cocktail shaker. And this is a martini glass. Made popular on the HBO show Sex and the City, the Cosmopolitan Martini is a classic cocktail. And we have one for you today with cranberry, lime, orange, simple syrup, and water. Can I shake it? Yes, but hold on to the lid so that nothing falls off. <laughs> I'm really good at this. Cha 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 Time to get the party started. Mm. It's pink. Wow, that's sour. I thought it'd be 10 times better. It's really sour with a hint of lemon. It tastes like watermelon and cranberry. No. What do you think of this glass? Uh, it's like fancy. Kind of like a cone. I feel very proper and fancy. Ah! So lots of people, when they drink this, will just walk around a whole party carrying this. <laughs> do you think you can do that? No! <laughs> All right, you want to try the next drink? Yes! Looks like a vase. I think I'm making like a non-alcohol margarita. I always wanted to try one. Our margarita today is made with limeade, orange juice, and sparkling water, but the most iconic thing about it is the salt rim. This would actually water. be really fun to be a bartender. Yeah. Is that cool? Yeah. Mm. Ta da! And then there's a sprig of mint so that you can actually add some greenery in there too. Ta I really need some more water. It tastes too salty. Mmm, I can't the salt like kind of dissolves. The salt is like <laughs> I really like this. It tastes like lemonade. Very good. What do you think of the cup? Is this a practical cup to drink out of? No! Off you go. Bye bye. This seems a lot more simpler without salt. This should be my style. Oh no, is that salt? Please don't tell me it's salt. So this next drink is called a mojito. Ooh. A mojito is a Cuban drink that's more than 500 years old. This is 500 years old? Well, I'm gonna try this if it's 500 years old. Oh, this, this type of drink. Yep. Okay, I thought you would have a drink that's 500 years old. So you're gonna put that into your cup, add your lime wedges, and add that sugar. And then you're just gonna use the muddler to mash it all together. Oh my God. There's oil in the mint leaves and there's oil in the limes. And by mashing it all up, you're letting all of those oils release into the sugar. <sighs> so hard. Pour this in. Mm -hmm. So this is some ice, limeade, and sparkling water. How does that drink look? Fancy. This is good. Ew, that's sour. Very limey. I'm not sure, it's just not my liking. I can really taste the mint, like, it's so clear. That was very fun. I'm glad it tasted nice. You gonna start making these for your parents? Oh yes. You're not my liking. Bye bye. 
Oh, is that a pickle? Pickles and olives? This is a strong smell. It smells like a ketchup drink. The, the veggie drink of disgusting stuff. So this is called a Bloody Mary. Bloody! It was originally concocted as a hangover drink. What's a hangover? Uh, a hangover is when an adult drinks too much alcohol and they don't feel well the next morning. It's made with tomato juice, Worcestershire sauce, Tabasco, lemon, lime, celery, salt, and black pepper. And these drinks are normally topped with all the fixins like celery, pickles, olives, and even things like burgers, shrimp, and a whole chicken. You put chicken in these cups? That's gross. Lots of people have this at brunch. What? What society do we live in today? Yeah, I barely took a sip. Oh, uh, I think you could give this to someone else. Mm -mm. No. That wasn't that good as I expected for tomatoes. It tastes like ketchup water town. <laughs> I don't like this. I can't believe that people have this for brunch. I think my mom would like this because it's really healthy. I will never drink this again in my life. It, it tastes like tomato soup in a glass with ice. I, I would add mangoes. Because I don't really like mangoes. To this? Yes! I could be open-minded, but it wouldn't when it comes to this. Oh. That's more like it. I think this one would be my favorite. We have a non-alcoholic sangria for you today with lots of fresh fruit. Sangria is a wine drink. It's wine mixed with brandy and a bunch of fruit. I wish I could just have a spoon and just get the blackberries and raspberries. I've heard of wine, but I don't know what it is. It's a drink that's made from grapes. Grapes? I love grapes! That means I must have loved this. That's really good. I didn't get a good taste. Mm. I still didn't get a good taste. Mm. Yeah, I need one more taste just to make sure. <laughs> I really like it. This should be number one on my list. Because it doesn't have salt, doesn't have celery, doesn't have olives, and doesn't have pickles. If you are drinking wine, the way that you would do it is you hold the glass, you give it a little swirl, because you sort of want to see the color at the end of it, then you would smell it, and then you would take a sip. Yeah, I've seen this move before. My dad does it all the time. And he also does this. Whenever he drinks, he does pinky up. This drink has notes of raspberries and blackberries. Uh, I don't know exactly how to explain it, but it's super refreshing. Do you like it? Yeah, it's really sour. Does it make you feel grown up that you're drinking out of a wine glass? Yes. How do you feel about all these drinks in front of you? Uh, weird. How do you feel about playing bartender today? Felt pretty great. <laughs> What was your least favorite? No. The Bloody Mary or the Margarita? Mm, both. Definitely Bloody Mary. I hate that one. I love this one though. It's my favorite. This one has too much salt and too sour. And this one it has most of the stuff I don't like. Plus it tastes bad, plus it stinks. Super duper 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 disgusting and bad. <laughs> Did you have fun? Yes. What was your favorite part of being a bartender today? Uh, cause I get to try all these different drinks and I like this one the most. So I would like one mocktail sangria. All right, well you are now our new resident bartender. Awesome. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching. Did you enjoy this episode? Which of these drinks do you want to try? Hope it's not that one. Let us know in the comments below. And make sure to like and subscribe to People Versus Food. Bye! Bye! Bye!